Reprogramming your subconscious mind with a new set of beliefs and thought patterns helps you positively brainwash yourself for success. And we can learn this best from Dr. Joe Dispenza, who is a New York Times best-selling author specializing in neuroscience, epigenetics, and quantum physics. While there are already many videos on this topic where Dr. Joe Dispenza has shared his thoughts, my goal for this video is to simplify his teachings into a bite-sized chunk with actionable steps you can apply into your own life. And by the end of this video, you will also learn five ways to positively brainwash yourself for success while destroying your negative thoughts. Dr. Dispenza's groundbreaking teachings have empowered countless individuals to unleash their full potential and overcome their limiting beliefs, helping them create a life of success and abundance. By sharing the impact of stress hormones, the role of elevated emotions and the power of controlled imagination, he reveals the key to rewiring the mind and creating a reality that aligns with your deepest desires. So let's dig deeper into Dr. Dispenza's teachings. Most of our lives, we are controlled by habits regardless of whether they are good or bad. And these habits may be emotional habits, thinking habits besides physical ones like exercising and performing certain tasks. When a habit forms, our body becomes better at performing it than our mind, meaning we don't have to think as we do it. But the problem is, most people wake up in the morning and start thinking about their problems right away. These problems are linked to memories and events in their minds from before, associated with specific times, places, and people keeping them stuck in the past and these cause a never-ending cycle of negative feelings. Our bodies react to imagined scenarios similarly to real ones, and recalling these memories triggers negative feelings, and as a result, people become programmed to feel these negative emotions, even when they're not consciously thinking of those past memories anymore. Breaking this cycle is challenging because neurons that fire together wire together, making change uncomfortable, and most actions become automatic, making up a significant part of who you are by the time you're 35. Especially when someone goes through a traumatic incident, it can have a huge impact on their life. When trauma occurs, it leads to powerful emotional reactions that become ingrained in us, making it hard to move past emotional reactions and thoughts. And like Dr. Joe Dispenza says, the familiar past becomes a predictable future, keeping you stuck in this vicious cycle forever. Now your thoughts do shape your destiny, but you can't create a better life unless you change the way you feel. To change, you need to access your subconscious mind which controls all of your deep underlying beliefs and thought patterns. But the subconscious is separated from your conscious mind by the analytical mind, which acts like a gatekeeper, preventing any new beliefs or thought patterns from entering the subconscious. Dr. Dispetta provides various ways to rewire the subconscious, and we are going to explore a few of those techniques shortly. But it's also important to understand that most people often wait for crises or traumas to push them to change. But Dr. Joe Dispenza says that real change can also happen in a state of joy and inspiration. A longing for a better vision of the future can be a great motivator for this. Changing emotional habits requires rehearsing new behaviors and reactions mentally, convincing your body of a different reality. This process shifts your brain's hardware to create a new software program, altering your reactions and emotions. And by applying the following methods that Dr. Dispenza recommends, we can surely brainwash ourselves for success. And here are five different ways you can influence your subconscious mind to create changes in your reality. One, metacognition. Metacognition essentially means thinking about your thinking. It's about becoming aware of your thoughts, observing them, looking at them objectively without judging yourself. Many individuals tend to believe that their thoughts are absolute truths, but it's important to recognize that thoughts aren't always facts. With around 60,000 to 70,000 daily thoughts, with roughly 90% being recurrent, it leaves us a very few chances for change. Thoughts lead to choices, which determine behaviors, resulting in experiences, emotions, and eventually, the same emotional reactions. Metacognition involves being more conscious of this process, a heightened awareness of how your mind and body function together. This self-awareness empowers you to embrace your newfound insights and actively reshape your identity. 2. The Art of Grounding Our body and minds have tendencies to revert back to past emotions. If you're channeling your energy into dwelling on the past, you're pulling away from the present. But present is where all the power we have lies, and we can only exercise our control in the present moment. That's why first it's really important to ground yourself in the present. So when you notice yourself spiraling, and instead ground yourself in the present moment, your body learns that it's no longer the controller of your thoughts. You are. 
This strengthens your willpower, slowly detaching from the past patterns. Some mindful meditations like vipassana, or any kind of meditations where you tune into your body sensations, can be really helpful for this, as they help you ground in the present moment. By repeating this process consistently, you're essentially training your mind, similar to how one trains animals, teaching your body that you're now in command. 3. The Power of Imagination Visualizing and actively imagining how you want to live your future life is a great way to transcend the old habit patterns that hold you back. But our imaginations have much more power than that. Like Einstein once said, imagination is the preview of life's coming attractions. When you imagine thinking, feeling and acting like a future version of yourself, you're actually inviting your future towards you. The key to effective visualization is to look at your current life circumstances and see what you don't like. Then define what it is that you exactly want to be, do, and have, and visualize exactly that. The more you saturate your mind with visions of the future while actively imagining it, the easier it will be for you to enter into that reality. Making visualizations a daily practice can really help you tune into your desired reality and manifest the kind of life that you want. There are also many guided meditations that can help you with visualizing, like the Live in the End Meditations program that we offer. This program helps to define your future life, and with the help of guided meditations, you get to visualize and attract your most ideal life. You can find the link to this program in the description if you're interested. 4. Blessing the Energy Centers Among the various methods that Dr. Joe Dispenza teaches in his live seminars and programs, blessing the energy centers is one of the most powerful processes, in my opinion. Energy centers, often referred to as chakras, are key points in the body that are believed to be centers of energy and consciousness. And this knowledge has been passed down through millennia in the Vedic culture. There are typically seven main energy centers in the body, aligned along the spinal column from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Each energy center is associated with specific qualities and functions like balance, confidence, and clear vision, and they are believed to be interconnected and influence each other. Because of past incidents, traumas, and day-to-day -day stresses, our energy centers become imbalanced. That's why aligning these chakras or energy centers can help us stay centered and in alignment of thoughts and emotions with one's goals, thus supporting the manifestation process. You can find different chakra meditations on YouTube to help you balance your own energy centers. 5. Heart-Mind Coherence Breathing Using your breath is a powerful way to control how you feel and change your state instantly. One specific breathing technique, called Heart-Brain Coherence Breathing, is a simple yet strong way to manage your emotions and improve how you feel. This method is supported by science from the HeartMath Institute and can bring balance inside you. To try this breathing practice, first, slow down your breathing. Imagine the air going in and out of your heart area. You can even touch your heart with your hands to make it more real. When you do this, your heart and mind work together, bringing about peace to your whole self. Out of the energy centers that I mentioned above, this meditation helps you revitalize your heart center, which is responsible for elevating your state of mind and coming from a joyous place. All these techniques that I just shared can be done independently, but they work even better when combined together with one another. For example, you could do metacognition throughout the day, and right before you visualize, you could practice heart-brain coherence to get into an elevated state. Remember, these techniques are not merely theoretical concepts, but practical tools you can implement in your daily life to rewire yourself for success. And another great way to break the habit of being your old self is by learning how to vibrate correctly. That's why make sure to watch this video next to learn about five simple one-minute habits to raise your vibration and tune into the frequency of your desired future. Wishing you the best.